Mitsubishi Corporation signed a deal worth 260 billion yen, 1.9 billion dollars, to supply equipment for a commuter railway system in Manila, Nikkei reported. The Japanese trading house will provide a package including signals, communications equipment and rails in a project designed to alleviate chronic traffic congestion and air pollution in the capital, Nikkei said he revealed that Mitsubishi is already testing a prototype, with air suspension and trimotor electric all-wheel drive, using one motor up front and two on the rear axle. Depending on configuration, it could push power output into the upper 300 horsepower range and torque even higher, all while enabling torque vectoring of the kind used in the Evo. Masuok also pointed to the 2015 Baja Portalegre Outlander Fev race car as a source of inspiration for the vehicle's design, though it may also resemble the Black Vision Rallyard concept shown here the Uber Outlander may not be the sole focus of Mitsubishi's performance car efforts, though. In the 2021 presentation where it announced Rallyert's reboot, a pair of slides implied plans for what might be a second Rallyert performance model. The silhouettes are too vague to be worth reading deeply into, but word from up top is that Mitsubishi shareholders, of all people, are pushing for the return of the Lancer Evo. Don't get your hopes up too far though, as a Rallyert version of something like the Eclipse Cross is more likely, the Evo program would take years to basically reboot from scratch. After all, Rallyert's still finding its footing and we'd all rather it take its time and get its comeback right than rush headlong into failure, 